Okay, so that's 11 to 7 for win out. Win fucked, rather. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I don't even know if, like, what FX money looks like with Neo just buying, but looks like they're doing a nice inner rush here, it seems. Oh, but three guys from Winfact rushing the uh, radio room area. Lord is still not turned round. He's actually looking over to the mini. Oh, there's some kill kills by... three Ooh, that's kills. the movie clip by, by Gigatus. Lord, oh, really nice spray control health. right there. Getting the kind of two lineups and then just keep the swinging the spray over to the fourth guy peeking him. That's an ace by Gigatus. And, that, and based on what it, the way they attacked the ramp there, it looks like that was actually a call to just like split like that. Yeah, just a little mini crunch, or I mean lobby crunch. Looks like they're gonna be playing a retake outside this round. Tommy's uh Lurpus's red pipe. Glocks for the FX guys, so if they lose this it's gonna be um thirteen to seven for Winfact. Neo's actually bought full up every single round, I think. Uh, some huge nerd just told me that Jigatus actually only got four kills on that round. That's my apologies. I like the way they have to correct you as though, like, it's like an official TV station where you announced it or something. <laughs> it's probably like 200 people watching. Yeah. Neo gets the first kill. It looks like, uh. When Fact's actually really low this round, Aslax got 16 HP. As long as FX doesn't make any dumb mistakes. Three guys actually inside upper for win fact. Morning. We're streaming right now. People just kind of waltzing in the studio. Nothing we can do, this doors are open. Our public access studio. <laughs> yep. Looks like FX is moving really close up to here. FX moving up close to under ladder. That was like 16 health. Looks like they were trying to do a... They're gonna try and do a... Upper split, but Neo's actually in the... In the entire lower. I think he's gonna try and go up the vents while one goes top ladder and... Some go through the mini. Taz getting a pretty crucial pick on... Cubans up Lurpus. the ladder. Flashing. Jigatis actually knew that Neo was flanking and killed him. That was a pretty big pick by Jigatis. <laughs> Nasio actually spammed Basically, Pasha in fact, can HP. attack from every area here. Yeah. So they're gonna actually come up dual vents, and Nasio's gonna flank the hut. But he pulled back, actually, actually he's going outside. Saving. I guess they're just trying to get the for sure win. I mean, if they went for this round, they probably would have won it, but... Posh of 5 HP. Okay, so 13 to it for win fact. Yeah, like this is the round that. <clears throat> sorry, if uh, if FX lose this round, I mean, I guess Neo's just been buying every single round like they normally do, but I mean, it'll really destroy their money. Looks like they're playing a a two in or two outside, one ramp setup. Basic Jigatus has getting... moved all the way along the catwalk. Yeah, Basic has just gotten aided to 12 HP at ramp, at the start of the round. Passion moves all the way around under the ladder. Ooh, Lurpus. But gets really killed at the last second. Spray. Nice 20 bullet. Basic. Gigatus is still on catwalk. Takes Neo. He's able to pull back because he has the flashes. 
Nothing going right here for FX. See, actually seeing them on the T side makes me think they are a little bit out of sorts by how easily they lost to SK and then the fact that they were doing decently as CT, but... Yeah. Like, no, well, there's none of their, like, trademark attacking style here. Like, they actually look quite tentative once they get into sites. It's it's odd because at the other tournaments that we previously watched, Neo and Pasha would kind of work outside by themselves and they would just get picks. But they seem to switch it with like three people going outside and two guys attacking like ramp or the inner area. And it just hasn't been working for them. It hasn't worked for SK, it hasn't worked for this, this team, one fact either. And that's match point, or was it 8 7? So it was 8 7. It was 8 7. So it's still 14 to 7, 8, I mean. Yeah, I mean, this is really an uphill battle for FX. The the amount of money that Winfac has, and as you can see, there's only two deaths on Aslak and Nasu, so... Or one death. Plus, even the one round they won was like... Winfac could have gone for it, so it's not even as though they have like a go-to strategy they can run again. They're still trying to figure out something that'll work. It looks like they're doing a delay inner hit to ramp. Inner fake to ramp. A basic... He's got to come up big here. Lord takes him out and gets the gun. As I got spammed to 15. Nasty's actually in a really good spot for if they try to take lower fast. Yeah, he's Lepid in a perfect event. position. That's one kill. Two. Taz, 51 HP. Ooh, Taz <laughs> Ooh, runs out of bullets in the last second. I'm really surprised Nasty got a triple kill there. That was really nice by him, though. It was a good play as soon as he knew that. Like, FX is one of those teams when they take an area, they usually go quick, so he knew that. He just quickly went down the vents and pushed up to the ramp and held. And as you can see, when FX came down, they just... Yep. Okay, so the Cubans got a Galil, and someone else has got a Galil, and then they have a Deagles, it looks like. I mean, this is a round where, you know, I'm not really sure the Cubans man you want to have the Galil. Posh so gets a spam. pusher outside. Or did he spam him? Where did Tommy die? Nah, he was inside the uh, oh, squeaky okay. door area. Nasu pulls back after he gets the kill, but gets shot in the back. It's a nice crosshair. This is very horrible right now. As the like problem is they're gonna go kill. up. He's in just a perfect spot right now. I don't think Cuban actually hurt or. I think he just hurt the last second there. No, I think he ran for like half a second as well. I mean, that was a perfect play by Aslak. He got that kill ramp and just straight went up the ladder. Hmm, shouldn't that be game? I mean, I know they play out the rounds, but no good games or anything said. Yeah, I don't know. It's strange. Well, I mean, what's in... Oh, where? We should also mention that this means that FX don't have to play on the hard side of the rock now, so anyone who wants to form a conspiracy theory. There's solid evidence for it. Although in fact I did play well as well, so I'm not I'm actually not sure how much that played into it. Well I mean I, I was originally thinking something similar of like if whoever lost loses this match will most likely get second in the group unless one of the lesser teams creates an upset upset, which is almost <laughs> I would say very unlikely to happen. But um, the way that FX has been playing is they did play really similar to the, how they did versus SK. The same similar type of strats. Right, apparently I have the torrents on, but like, the game's pretty much done, so there's no point going to turn them off right now. If you had to guess, I mean, I, I don't think Winfact had anything to do with it, but 
if you had to guess if FX attempted to accidentally lose this game on purpose, like what kind of odds would you give it? I'd give it like a 45% chance. I don't think you ever like want to lose a match, but I mean, I could definitely see them. The not... problem is they are the kind of team who I think would do it because they are the most shaky even out of the elite teams, so they, if they have a chance to not play the others, then they're probably going to take it. Yeah. And plus, I don't think WinFact played any differently, but I mean, if you're FX, you can lose and just make it look like you got upset, that's the problem. Although I also think they owned in tons of the, the battles there. Yeah. But if you think about it also, I think what you... Because the problem is, I don't think anyone in a scenario like this does just straight up rig the whole game, even if they want to lose. I think what you do is you play the first half for real, and then the reason it seems suspicious is because, like we said, Neo did buy like every single time, just force yeah. buy on his own. So that is like a really good way to just pretend as though you were like greedy, but 